Hello and welcome to the Z-Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can make two Arduino boards communicate with each other. Now I am using two Arduino Nanos, but you don't have to use Nanos. You can use Unos, Megas, Pro Minis. Um, you could use a combination. You could use a Mega with an Uno or an Uno with a Nano or any combination of them. And actually, you can even use other devices like a Raspberry Pi. And anything that can um, handle serial communication. Now, I am for this demonstration, I am just going to be using two nanos just to make it simple and easy. As you can see, I got them hooked up here. And what we'll do first is I'll show you this little circuit I put together to demonstrate how it works. And uh, we'll talk about it a little. Then we'll go over to the uh, Arduino IDE and take a look at how you set this up to make them communicate with each other. Now we are using wired communication, which means there is a wire, actually two wires, going from each board to the other board. Now if you're interested in Bluetooth, like wireless communication between two boards, now that is possible and I have done a video on that. And look in the description below, I'll put a link to that. So if you're actually looking to do wireless communication, not wired, uh, check that out. But wired communication works good. And um, the main reason for having like two of your microcontrollers wired together, well, number one, you don't have enough pins to control your entire project just using one microcontroller. And I mean... You get a Mega, it has a lot of pins, but if you're doing something super complicated that's got tons of inputs, outputs, you might need, uh, if you run out of pins, what you can do is have them serial communicate with e each other. Um, at this point, I do believe the Mega is the biggest uh, Arduino there is that has the most the most uh, pins on it. I do not believe there is anything bigger. Um, if there is, leave a comment below, but I do not believe there is. But uh, we'll say you don't have a Mega, but you got two Nanos. You can have them communicate with each other, and then you've got all the pins of both. And all you're using is two pins, your RX and TX, on each board. To communicate with each other and then all the other pins are free to use and as you can see well i've got these on breadboards so they're a little bigger but if you had these stacked um next to each other on a pcb they're still going to be smaller than uh, the mega and actually i'd say you could probably do for the equivalent size i'd say you probably do five of these and that's a lot of inputs and outputs. Um, you have to use, um, we're not going to go into that in this tutorial though, but um, if you have more than two, you got to use, um, it's serial software, I do believe it was called. And there is a way to run more than two boards at a time. But this um, tutorial, we're just going to go through making two communicate with each other. So, all right, let me demonstrate. Um, I got a little circuit set up here with the two nanos. And what I have is a push button right here. And I have an uh, LED right here. And I've set both of these up. The push button on this one is on uh, digital pin 2. And the LED on this one is on digital pin 2. We're using the same pin. But um, the board serial communicating, when I push the button on this one, it sends some info to this one telling it to turn the LED on or off. So let's try it out. Push the button, turns it on. Push the, whoops, <laughs> push the button, turns it off. I held it a little too long. I'm using um, a debounce 
um, I'm just doing it in the software because buttons need to be debounced. So what I do, what I have it set up as is it needs to be 250 milliseconds before it will realize it again. So if I hold it down, you can see there, it'll flash. But if I just push it real quick off and on, and that's just a basic communication between the two of them. And we'll get over to the IDE. I'll show you how this works. And it doesn't just need to be buttons. You can have sensors on one board and then the other board controls or relays or servo motors, stepper motors, combination of the two between each. I mean, there's tons and tons of applications for this and also like I said you don't have to just have an Arduino serial communicating with another Arduino you could have a Raspberry Pi or there are other microcontrollers as well that will um, handle the serial communication and they will all work but for this tutorial we're just um, going to be using two Arduinos now in the middle here all this is is it's a 5 volt regulator circuit I hooked up uh, it's an LM uh, was 7805, or no, an L7805, if I remember, and two capacitors and everything. It's just a voltage regulator is all this is in the middle here. And it's powering both Arduino boards. All right. Um, well, for how the circuit itself is set up... Um, you're watching this i'm sure you know about arduino at least a little bit so i'm not going to actually write up um make the schematic for this i'm just using when we get over to the ide i'll tell you what pins they're on but it's just an led on the receiver board with a uh, limiter resistor um, because they're running at five volts and you run five volts to that um LED it's going to burn it out and then on uh, this side on the transmitter side it's uh, just a push button switch and then I have um, a resistor to ground to keep it uh, at ground and it's a high value it's just so when the button's not being pushed no static um, charges or anything are making the board think well well it's the buttons being pushed and that's what that little resistor takes care of. All right. Um, I think we can go over to the computer and look at the IDE because that's where most of how this works is going to be explained. Um, but one real quick thing before we go over there. We're using the TX and RX from the two boards. And what you do is the TX from one board goes to the RX of the other. The RX of the other board goes to the TX of the other. You just swap them out. So this one, the green wire is on TX here, RX here. White wire on this one's TX here and RX here. Pretty sure that made sense to you. All right, um, I'm going to fire up the computer. We're going to get on there. We'll go over it a little more. So I'll catch you there in just a moment. All right. I got the Arduino IDE opened up here. And as you can see, I've actually got two of them open. That's because um, we have a sketch for each board. And I just simply named the one with the push button as the transmitter and the one with the LED as the receiver. And as you can see... It's pretty basic on how this works. And all you really got to do to have two boards communicate with each other is in your void setup, just do the serial begin. And I'm doing the 9600. And then on the uh, receiver here as well, 9600. Just make sure both of them are the same baud rate. And when you connect your wires, like I said, the uh, RX to the TX and the TX to the RX, just swap them between the two boards and you're communicating so all we really have um, for this basic sketch if you want to try it out um, 
you can actually go to the, the website. Um, if you look in the description below, there will be a link to this project's web, web page. And you can download these two sketches if you'd like to try this out before you try to use it in your own project. As you can see, we're just using, um, we got an integer here. We're calling value, and the value is just what we're using to read uh, the button. We're doing a digital read. And if the button is high, it just, it's serial writing a value I chose of 100. And over here, in the void loop, it is checking in. We're using uh, the integer value once again, but the value over here is just the, the value of the serial read. So if serial dot available is greater than zero, we're setting the value to equal the serial dot read. And then if the value is 100, and we also have a, another integer position, I started at zero, and this is just keeping track of if the LED is on or off, so it knows if it should turn it on or turn it off. So when the program first um, launches and starts up on the Arduino board, it's of course going to be off. So if the value is read that comes in from the serial read is 100 and the position equals zero, which means the LED is off, we're digital writing LED high. And then we're setting the position equal one, which means that the LED is on. Then we got an else if value equals 100 and position equals one, which means the LED is on when the push button was pushed and the value of 100 once again is sent to the other Arduino board, then it is digital writing LED low. Turning it off, and then of course we're setting the position to zero. This is pretty basic use of it. Just remember, um, you don't just have to send information to one to the other. You can send information to one and then have the other board send information back to the first one. It can run both ways without a problem. Without a problem at all. And like I also mentioned before too, I mean, you can have an Arduino controlling something and maybe you got a Raspberry Pi controlling something else or another microcontroller or something else that um, can handle serial communication. We're just sending um, values right now. And we're sending numbers, excuse me. Um, you can send text back and forth, but I found it's way, way easier when you're making programs just to send values of numbers. It just kind of simplifies things. But yes, you can send text back and forth. But, um, we're just using a serial.write. Um, for text, I do believe you'd have to do a serial.print. But we're just doing the serial.write, and this works really, really well. All right, well, I can't really think of anything else to go over on uh, on this. So just a reminder, both these sketches can be found on the, uh, the web page for this project. And you can find that, once again, just look in the description below. So I would like to thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. I hope you have a great day. And remember, have fun building.